guys welcome back to my channel this is indeed your girl tia mcpherson if you're new here feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see but if you're oldie but a goodie hey my babies welcome back so guys in today's video i'll be answering some questions that have been posted under my hedo videos or hedonism to based videos like i have about six videos um that are based on hedonism too no this video is not sponsored this is just a hedonism too lover right here hello okay so if you have been to hedonism too you know exactly what i'm talking about hedonism too is like my second home i absolutely love 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 it there and i'm definitely looking forward to go there again here keeping my fingers crossed i don't know okay y'all so a lot of these questions will be repetitive in a different manner but they're from different persons so at the end of the day i still could not grab all of the questions because you guys leave a lot of questions along with a lot of regular comments so i apologize if i do not answer your question okay that's not me ignoring anything all right so let me just say this remember Going to Edenism too is for the experience, okay? It's not for you to go there to see people and judge. We don't do judgments at Edenism too, okay? Every single person is welcome there, of course. As long as you are an adult, let me say that first. Um, as long as you're an adult, you're welcome there. All right, so guys, without further ado, let us jump into this video okay guys so i'll be putting the questions on the screen somewhere on the screen for y'all to see because i don't want anyone thinking i made these questions up because some people who child okay so the first question is when is the best time to go to hedonism like when black people will be there okay so these are one of the questions that i'm very iffy about to answer because it sounds a little bit you know what and i don't want to say it so first and foremost um i'm not that kind of person i love every single person out there it doesn't matter your culture your background um doesn't matter if your color um i appreciate everyone so let me go ahead and answer this question locals are always at hedonism too so if you're if you're wanting to go there when there are only locals there I don't think you're going to be successful on that one. Y'all, let us jump into the other question. Guys, please keep in mind, I'm trying to make this video as short as possible, but by answering your questions in full, okay, or as um, to the best of my ability. All right, let's go to question number two. Okay, so this person asks if people are swinging there. Yes, there are swingers that come to Edenism too. Um, some of them come by cruise and stuff like that. So if you want more information on that, you definitely have to call them at Edenism too to get further details on that in specific. Okay, so someone said, oh, so Edenism too is close to Royalton. Yes, um, Royalton, Gr Gran Lido is very close it's like hedo is right here they're right here they're like neighbors okay so grand lido is the nude section of royalton and you know if hedonism too is full they would send some of their people at royalton over by the nude section as well that happened to me in a previous video basically i'm going to link all of my hedonism too based videos in the description down below so if you guys want to go watch you guys can go watch okay let's jump into the other question Okay, so um, I think it was last year I did a video showing a different kind of room at Hedonism 2. I think it was OVN, um, you know, it was at the nude side. Um, so it's an ocean view on natural, so it's still on the nude side, it's just a different room. So keep in mind that there are different kinds of room at Hedonism 2. I also reviewed a premium room, which has the jacuzzi on the outside and all of that wonderful stuff. That's a premium room. Okay, so there are different levels, obviously. So if you want to get a um, jacuzzi room, you can ask for a um, premium room at Hedonism 2. Okay, so someone, this is a very good question. Was it really judgment-free? Did you see any larger women? Okay, so like myself, there are a lot of women who are very conscious of their bodies, so they get kind of scared um, when they're going somewhere different. You know, you're going to have a new section. You know, probably they want to go nude, but they're scared that their body is probably not going to be accepted as much um, 
based on the way that they look. So hedonism too is a judgment free place. I go there when I went there. There were other larger people, both male and females, and there was no judgment. Everyone was just laughing, enjoying themselves as it should. You understand? It's a judgment free zone. Okay, so someone said, So you went but did not participate in any sexual activity at all? I find that's kind of hard to believe. Okay, you don't have to go to hedonism too to go to the playroom or to swing. If you don't know what swinging is, do your research okay if you you don't have to go to hedo for those specific reasons they have a club they have different restaurants that you can enjoy they have a lot of pools that you can enjoy along with jacuzzis as well i mean hot tubs as well so like there are so many reasons if that is what you go to hedonism to for to experience other people then by all means go ahead and experience other people but if you're not there for that, then don't go there for that. You know, just go to have a good time. A lot of single people go there. When I go there, I go by myself. You understand? And I still enjoy myself. Like, I miss nothing. Like, I go to, I go clubbing. I go to the different restaurants. I go to the different bars, especially the piano bar. It's really nice. Like, I don't miss out on anything. Just because I go there alone means I'm going to be swinging or going to be enjoying other people. It, not like that really okay so someone said give us the ju juicy details about your stay at hedonism <laughs> juicy details i mean i see a lot because at one point i was in the gym working out and right across over the poolside there there was a couple enjoying themselves like it's it's just a free place it's just a place where you can be whatever whoever you want to be you understand and do whoever you want to do <laughs> as long as you're interested obviously um but yeah um that's basically it like anywhere that you go people will be making out and whatever but it doesn't it doesn't get to me like that i am so used to seeing that because i've been to hedonism too so many times like it's like a norm now so i mean it's okay like the juicy details, you just gotta go there to experience it for yourself, trust me. Okay, so someone said, while that room is lit, are all rooms like that? Which room should I ask for to get this? Okay, so I'm assuming this person is talking about the premium room. Just ask for a premium room over by the nude side, because it was on the nude side, but it was a premium room. So it's right on the beach side, and it has a jacuzzi on the outside. Um, yeah. And at, with a premium room, your fridge gets restocked every single day. As long as you drink it, they replace it. If you don't drink it, obviously, they're not going to replace it because there's no need for them to replace something that is already there. I mean, that's self-explanatory. But yeah, just ask for a premium room over by the nude section. Okay, so someone asks, are there any locals there other than workers and anybody under the age of 25? Also, did they play any Caribbean music? Lol, my bad. Me and my friends are making plans. Yes, they do play local music, okay? They play any kind of music. Any given kind of music they do play because they have a theme night every single night where they play different kind of music and they do different activities every single night. So you can just I have a video explaining the different kinds of um, theme nights and stuff that they have. I'll link it in the description so in case you want to see that video, you can definitely go ahead and check it out. As it relates to the age, as long as they are off the... As long as they're an adult, yes. So I would assume persons under 25 goes to Edenism too. Like, probably not under 18, but probably 19 and over. So I'm not really sure of the age group that they accept. But it's def you definitely have to be an adult to go there because it's an adult-only resort. So, yeah. And yes, obviously there are locals there apart from the workers. There are locals that go there all the time. And remember guys, you can go there on a day pass. So if you want to go on a day pass, I think it's from uh, 9 in the morning until 5 p.m. And then from 7 to 1 a.m. I don't remember, but you can definitely, there are two different day passes, 9 to 5 and there is another one until I think 1 a.m. So if you are staring at a resort close to Hedonism 2, you can do the one to 1 a.m. And then you just go to your resort. 
Okay, so this person was making fun of what I said in one of my videos. I said, if you can't go, if you can't afford it, go at least once. What, and then they say, makes sense, lol. What I practically mean is if you can't afford to go there to spend a week, to spend a weekend, at least go there even for a day pass. Like just to have the experience or the understanding of what hedonism to is all about like you need to go there for yourself so that's why i said if you can't afford it go at least once that's what i meant when i said go at least once you can go for a day pass or you can go for you know one night just to have the experience in case it's something that you really wanted to do you probably wanted to spend a week but when you go on the website you'll be like oh this is kind of pricey you know so you can go at least one one time just save towards it like self-explanatory Okay, so someone asked if I can help. So can you help me find a resort then for an older single male who wants to have fun? Hedonism 2 is all about fun. Hedonism 2 is all about partying, having fun, getting to know other people, um, or whatever. Like, you can go to Hedonism 2. It doesn't matter your age group. You're both young and older persons that go to Hedonism 2. And there's absolutely, I will keep repeating this, there's absolutely no judgment there. Okay, so I think I answered this question already. This person said, what would you say is a typical age range? Because I am thinking of going in a couple of years, but I don't want to be the only young 20-year-old person there in a sea of older people. It's not like that. There's just a mixture of different age groups, a different, of different um, cultures, of different everything. Like, there's just a mixture of different kinds of people at hedonism too. There's not, there's not just one set of person that go at one specific time. So it's not like January is for younger people, February is for older people. Nah, it's not like that, you know? So you can go at basically any given time. If you want it at a warmer time, you go in the summertime. If you want it at a cooler time, then go in the winter time. It's, yeah. <laughs> so someone said, who else can't wait for the epic story behind this trip? Um, I've had many trips at Hedonism too. Even after the last video I did, I still went back to Hedonism too with a friend. Uh, she visited Jamaica and she definitely wanted to go to Hedonism too based on the videos that I've made. And she did go there and she enjoyed herself. She really did not want to leave, but they did not have any available rooms at the time that we went there. So, um, yeah, we had fun. We, um... We went, we, well, we wanted to go to the nude side. I don't know why we didn't go to the nude side, but we did not go to the nude side. And we enjoyed the drinks. We had a lot of um, pina coladas. We had a lot of pina coladas. And we danced and we had fun. We had a lot of food because why the hell go to Hido and not eat the food? It's so bomb. Like, the food is amazing. It's one of the first resorts that I've ever been to that uh, the food is just Mwah, chef's kiss like it's just amazing like i've had no complaints about the food at any given time that i've been to hedo i've never had any issues with the food the chefs there are amazing hedonism too you did a very good job selecting your chefs okay like let me just give you that okay so someone says hi i really enjoy your videos did i hear you say that you have never been to the nude side no um i know exactly which video this came from um, like I stated, all the videos will be in the description. Um, basically, in that specific video, I was pointing over to the, the, the prude side. And I was telling her over there, I've never been over there. And I was saying, you know, over the nude side, yeah, but over there, which was the prude side, I've never been over there. The last time that I went to Hedo, I did go over the prude side. It's, uh, it's okay. It has like a private hot tub section as well you know so if you and your partner wants to go there y'all can go there it's okay but i'd rather the nude side i mean nudie okay so someone says you have the room at the hot tub great which side of the room is the which which side of the beach is the room it's over on the nude side and that was a premium room so ask for a premium room also guys i want to remind you also that with included in your stay you get a free boat ride okay you get a free boat ride so please remember that so if you want to get a boat ride you'll pass all the other um 
resorts you know and stuff like that beautiful scenery and stuff you can definitely ask about it okay okay so someone says hello i'm thinking of going do you think it's okay for a black couple to just go at random or is it just only white couples there but once again this question is kind of um you can go anyone can go at any different time to hedonism too just go on the website book the specific room you want to stay at and stuff like that but yeah definitely anyone can go at any different time to hedonism too as long as you are of the legal age let me repeat that okay so this person said so boring bet that couple will never give you a treat like that again was i think my very very first hedonism 2 video that i made and i was talking about my experience um and th this person is saying that my story was boring and they bet that the persons that brought me there would have never given me a treat like that again sweetheart i have been back to hedo almost every year after that sweetheart so i don't know what you mean <laughs> You think your girl don't have money to take herself out if she wants to go out, honey? Anyways, this is a this is a happy video. <laughs> it's all positive vibes here. But yeah, but yeah, y'all. Like, guys, definitely if I missed your question, feel free to um to drop them in the comment section down below. I might do a part two at another time i am really not sure i will try my very best y'all i sound kind of weird like i'm talking low that's because i'm sick y'all but i did not want to waste this day i did not want to waste my ponytail look okay because she cute and whatever i did a side ponytail yesterday or two days ago okay so yeah guys i am a hedonism tool lover i will always be a hedonism tool lover and Whenever I get the chance, I will definitely be going back to hedonism too. And I'll be meeting new people. And, you know, I'll be expanding my social circle. Because my social circle now is like this. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't socialize a lot. Um, as an influencer, it's kind of it kind of sucks. But, you know, I'm just not that kind of person. I'm an introvert. I'm an Aquarian. Okay, for Pete's sake. I'm, I'm, I'm an Aquarian. I don't do the many friends vibe because i'm just not a kind of person okay guys so hey guys thank y'all so much for tuning in if you have more questions once again link them in the comment section down below i'll be dropping all the videos based on hedonism 2 in my description so in case you guys want to go there and um and, you know watch the videos to have a better understanding of the questions that were asked by all means feel free to to do so um if you're new to my channel welcome thank you so much for taking interest in watching this video um i appreciate everyone that comes across my channel i appreciate you all thank y'all so very much all right so that's it i'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.